Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Friday, April 10th, and we're going to have a little bit of a math review day today. All right, let's get started. Here's our I can statements. We have two I can statements today. All right, let's read the first one. I can use the counting on and the make 10 way when adding across 10. What do we need to do to this first I can statement, boys and girls? <gasps> right, let's break it down, break it down. I can, say with me, I can use the counting on. Hmm, what does it look like when we count on, boys and girls? Right, we put the bigger number in our head and we count up. Nice job. So I'm gonna draw a little person here. And he's going to count on up. Okay. And the make 10 way. Who remembers, how do we make a 10? Hmm. What are the different ways we can make a 10? Right. Hmm. right, we could have, and I'm gonna use this because I don't have enough room up there. We could have two plus eight because we know two plus eight equals what? 10, nice job. What's another way to make a 10? <gasps> One and nine, right. And one and nine makes 10. What's another way? Right, three and seven make 10. Three and seven make 10. What's another way? Four and six, nice job. And four and six make 10. What's another way? Right, five and five make 10. All right, you could also have zero plus 10 make 10, right? So those are all the different ways we can make a 10. Hmm, ready? Does order matter in addition? No. All righty, the make a 10. So when we're making something, we are adding a 10 way. When adding, show me an addition sign. Nice job. When adding across, whoa. Across a 10. So we're going to be looking to make sure our ones, the numbers that are in our ones house, do not make a number bigger than 10. Okay, let's read this back. I can, say it with me, I can use the counting on, right? Use counting on and make a 10 way when adding across 10. Nice job. All right, let's read our second I can statement. I can add a pair of two digit numbers. Oh. What do we need to do to this I can statement? You're right, let's break it down. Break it down. I can, say it with me, I can. And show me what that looks like. What does the addition symbol look like? Nice job. I can add a pair. I have a pair of hands. I have a pair of arms. I have a pair of eyes. I have a pair of ears. What is a pair? <gasps> two, right? A pair means two. And I'll do all my hands in here. Whoa, my hand is running out of room. I gotta draw my hands a little smaller. There's my hands, really squeaking them in there. Of a two-digit number, 
Who can give me an example of a two-digit number? Right, 25. Great number. That's a two-digit number. What else is a two-digit number? Right, 13. Those are both examples of two-digit numbers. A two-digit number, remember, has to have a number in the tens house and in the ones house. Nice job. All right, let's read it back together. I can, say it with me. I can add a pair of two-digit numbers. Nice job. All right, and that's what we're going to review today. So how do you feel about this so far? Happy. Miss Shirley, I get it. I love that you're doing review. It's always good to practice in the middle. I'm a little nervous. I had a hard time the first time. You know what? Where you're gonna get even better at it now. Thumbs down, Miss Hurley. <sighs> These two digit numbers are super tricky and that's okay too, cause we're gonna work through it. Okay, please make sure you have your whiteboard. Make sure you have your whiteboard and a marker, okay? Because guess what I've got? A math story. What do we do with a math story? First, we need to read the story. Then what? Draw the picture. Then what? Write the number sentence and the statement. Nice job. R D W. A read, draw, right? All right. You have your whiteboard. You have your marker. All right. The first time I read the story, I want you to just listen. The second time I read the story, I want you to get that marker moving. Grooving. Okay. Are you ready? Here is our story. The first time I read it, I want you to just listen. Okay. Ready. Liam had 13 jelly beans and got six more. Connor had 13 jelly beans and got 26 more jelly beans. Who has more jelly beans? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna read it to you again. Ready? Liam had 13 jelly beans and got six more jelly beans. Connor had 13 jelly beans and got 26 more jelly beans. Who has more jelly beans? All right, get moving. I'm going to erase my board and start it with you, but get that marker moving and grooving. Okay. All right. Got my RDW. R. Read, draw, write. Okay. Let's, I'm going to split my board into two sections because there's two um, people in our story. So if I were you, I would split my board right down the middle and label one side with an L for Liam and one side with a C for Connor. Nice job. Okay. 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 Liam, I'm going to start with Liam. Liam had 13 jelly beans. Okay. And got six more. So if you're getting more, what kind of math are you doing? Addition, right, good job. All right, let's draw our picture that shows this, okay? Quick 10, quick 10s and one, go 10, 
11, 12, 13. But I need to add six more. Ready? Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's make sure we don't have more than 10 in, our, in this, um, in our ones, because if we have more than 10, we get to make a quick 10. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that okay, boys and girls? Yes. All right, so we know how many does Liam have? How many jelly beans does he have? 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wow. Right, and we added our ones first. We did our three, because we broke the 13 into a 10 and a three. We added our ones together first. We did three plus six, and three plus six we know is nine. Nice job. We can't forget about our 10. 10 plus nine, and 10 plus nine is what? 19, good job. Okay, so we know, how many jelly beans does Liam have? 19, all right, but we can't forget about Connor. We're comparing these two numbers to see which number is greater, who has more jelly beans. All right, Connor had 13. and got 26 more. Okay, boys and girls. Which number is smaller? Which number do we wanna break down? 13, nice. We'll break the 13 down into a 10 and a three. We still have our 26. First, we need to add our 10s together, right? We'll add 10 and 26. I'll draw a picture so we can see it, right? 10, 20, 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, plus 10. And our number sentence would be 10 plus 26, or you could write 26 plus 10, doesn't matter. Let's count our picture, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Nice job. Are we done? No. We can't forget about our ones right here, right? All right, let's see. Let's add our ones. Two, three. 36 plus three. And let's count on to solve this. Ready? Let's put 36 in our head. 36, 37, 38, 39. What's our answer? 39. Okay. So now we have our two numbers, 19 and 39. So, what number would Chappy want to eat? 19 or 39? Right, 39, because 39 is greater than 19. So we would read this as, right, 19 is less than 39. So Connor has more Jelly. Am I running out of hit room? Jelly. Beans. Connor has more jelly beans. Alrighty. Very nice job. Very nice job. Okay. Erase your board. Ready for another one? All right. 
Ready? Let's try this one. Ready? On your whiteboard, you should be writing 12 plus 7. Okay. On your whiteboard, you're writing 12 plus 7. All right, I'm going to get out my cubes and show you 12 and 7. All righty. Here's my 12. Here's my 7. What should I do first to solve this? Where should I add my 7? Should I add my 10s together first? Or should I add my 1s together first? You're right. I'm going to add my 1s together first. So, we need to break down that 12, right? Into a 10 and a 2. Right? We're going to break our 12 down into a 10 and a 2. And we're going to add our 1s together first. And we know 7 plus 2 is what? Let's draw our quick tens. Let's draw our quick tens and ones for 12. 10, whoa. 10, 11, 12. And we need to draw how many more ones, boys and girls? Seven, right, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's make sure we don't have more than 10 in this, okay? Because if we have more than 10, we need to regroup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're safe. All right, so what is seven plus two? I just counted them, but if you didn't see that, we can put seven in our head, put seven in your head, and we can count up to go seven, eight, nine. So seven plus two is, well, Nine. Nine. Are we done? No. What's our next step, boys and girls? Right, we need to add the 10. So then we have 10 plus nine. Right, and we can count our picture. 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Nice job. So we know 12 plus 7 is what? 19. Nice job. And if you didn't want to make a 10 strategy, you could also count on. Right. All right. What number would we put in our head if we were going to count on? The Bigger number. Which number is bigger, 12 or 7? 12. Okay, let's put 12 in our head. Go, and we're going to count up 7. We're going to pick up 7 fingers. All right, 12 in your head. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Did I pick up 7 fingers? Yes, I did. What's our answer? 19. Nice job, boys and girls. You should have this all written on your whiteboard. Nice job. And I'll show you with my cubes, right? I don't put them up here. No, no, no. I add them to the ones. Nice job. And we have 10 and 9. 10 and 9. 10, 9 is 19. Nice job. All right, erase your board. All right, let's try another one. Ready? Let's try. Twenty-five plus fourteen equals mystery number. A number we don't know yet. All right. Okay, 
here's my 25. Please draw me 25 using quick tens and ones. Here's my 25. Draw me 25 using quick tens and ones. Plus 14. All right, give me one second, boys and girls. Okay, and here's my 14. All right, so you have your 25 written. Okay, here's my 25 using my cubes. Whoa, let me try to line up the endpoints and hold it. Okay, I have my 25 and my 14. When we have a pair, so we have two two-digit numbers, what do we need to add first? Right, first we're going to add a 10, right? So let's break that 14 down into a what? A 10 and a 4. All right, do that with me. A 10, whoa and a four and we're going to add the 10 first so we're going to have 25 right plus how many did i draw here how many did i draw just one more quick 10 and a quick 10 is worth how much 10. so we have 25 plus 10. so we have 10 20 30 31 32 33 34 35. Nice. All done? All done? No. Right? No. Because remember, I had 14. I only added my 10. What about these? What about these guys? What about my four ones in 14? Where do they go? Do I just stack it right on top like this? No. Should I stack it up on top of the other purple one like this? No, I can't have more than 10 in a quick 10. I need to add, I need to add these four ones to the, the ones in 25, right? Right? I need to stick them up there. All right, so my next number sentence would be 35, right? Plus. What's my number I have to use still? Four. All right, let's draw in our picture. One, two, three, four. All righty. All righty, let's. We can either count our picture or we can count on in our head. Let's count on in our head. All right, we're gonna put 35 in our head and count up four. All right. 35. Do it with me. 36, 37, 38, 39. Did I pick up four fingers? Yes, I did. So what is my answer? What's our solution? 39. Nice job. So what's our mystery number? So what is 25 plus 14? 39. Nice job. And you also could have solved this by counting your picture. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Nice job, boys and girls. All right, erase your board. Okay, let's try another one. 28 plus 10. 28 
plus 10. All right, let's draw our 28. 10, 20, whoa, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, plus 10. Do I need to draw 10 circles? No, I need to draw one more quick 10, right? All right, let's count our picture. 10, oh, I forgot the equal sign here. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Nice job. You could also have solved this using the arrow way, which would be 28 plus 10. And we know 28 plus 10 is 38. Nice job. Erase your board. We'll do one more and then we'll move to our worksheet. Okay. Okay, ready? Let's do 28 plus one. 28 plus one equals a mystery number, a number we don't know yet. Okay, let's draw our 28. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yeah, 28, Wee. plus one. Should I draw another quick 10? No, I need to draw just a one, right? One more than 28 is 20. Nine. Nice job. And if you didn't know that, you can always count your picture. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Nice job. I'll raise your word. Okay. Let's get out our math sheet. It says Friday. April 10th on the top. It says math test three. It's not a math test though. Okay, let's do the first couple together so we know what to do. All right, the first one is 20 plus 12. Okay, 20 plus 12. All righty. It says use quick tens and ones to complete the place value charts. Okay, so they have a place value chart. I'm gonna draw it to the best of my ability for 20. My marker's running low. Let me try a different one. And we have tens. And ones, tens, and ones. Okay, let's draw our 20 using quick tens and ones. 10, 20. Do we need any in here? No. Let's draw 12 using quick tens and ones. 10, 11, 12. All right, let's count these together. Remember, we're gonna add our tens together first. So it would be 20, right, plus 10. 20 plus 10. 20 plus 10, 10, 20, 30, nice job. We can't forget about our ones, can we? No, so it would be 30 plus two. And 30 plus 2 is what, boys and girls? 32. Nice job. Please have that filled in. Right there. Okay. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time. All right, let's try another one. 
All right, let's try number two. 22 plus 14. 22 plus 14. All right, let me draw my place value charts. Okay, let's draw our 22. 10, 20, 21, 22. Nice job. And let's draw our 14 in this one. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, what should we add together first? Our 10s, right? So we have 22 and 14. We're breaking the 14 down into a 10 and a 4. So we have 22 plus 10. Let's count it together. We have 22. So we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. 32. But are we done? No, we can't forget about these ones right here. So when we have 32 plus 4, let's count on 32 in your head. Count up for 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. What's our answer? 36. Nice job. Nice job. All right, let's do one more together, okay? All right. Look at number three. It's not right. Okay, let's look at number three. It is 15 plus four. 15 plus four. Okay, let's draw 15. One quick 10, one, two, whoa. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> plus four. I have, whoa, all right, plus four. Do we have any tens in four? No, it's just gonna be in our one's house. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna break our 15 down into a 10 and a five. Let's add our ones together first. Four, or five plus four. Five plus four is what? Nine, and if you didn't know that, you can count your ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, and then we can't forget about our 10, so we have 10 plus nine. Let's count our picture. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Nice job. Alrighty. I hope you feel confident adding our two digit numbers together using the strategy of counting on and making a 10. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I miss you so very much. Um, remember to wash your hands. All right, love you, bye.